Battlefield, trusty classic. Ooh, Couch Cancel's dead. Wow, he's dead. That was a mighty quick stock. That's that's one thing that uh, Fox can definitely do over Falco is uh, like end Falcon stocks a lot earlier, just because shine games and stuff. And the, the like, yeah, I mean shine is, is really what it comes down to. All right, he read the attack in place with the down tilt. Ooh, caught the slide off. Um, this is ledge dash, so game's evened up, but in terms of stocks, but it's looking really rough for Apollo right now. Warmer's just kind of like all over him. Wow, he actually just stood there and like, he recognized Apollo had two options. He was either land on the platform or, go or land on the stage itself. And he just kind of waited and he's like, if he land on the platform, he'd probably either up air or back air. And he land on the ground, so he's just able to dash forward and do it and up smash. I'd say Warmer's Fox is like really solid. It's looking clean. I guess a lot of spaces uh, can generally play both characters pretty well. That was a nice nair, caught the double jump, and then Falcon basically had no option. Ooh, oh. Alright, let's see. Ooh, nice. Hits the mistech with the knee. That's another thing. This matchup is like pretty explosive too. Like Falcon, like you know, you do some reaction tech chases, you get you get some reads, and all of a sudden like stock counts even. Me? Ah, there's gonna name again. And he's just looking for tech in place. Ooh, caught the roll in. Yeah, just like that. It's like relatively even right now. Ooh. Dash dancing around that uh that fox up tilt feels so good. Ooh, he caught the roll in. Oh, is that it? Nah, he uh, missed the edge guard unfortunately. Angle was a little tricky. Catch him with the nair. Oh no! Gets a, hits him with the hug though. Damn, these full hot nairs. Warmer was just kind of looking for him to dash in and like hit him with the aerial so he can knock him down, especially like that percent. So I, w I wonder if he's going to stay Fox or if he's going to switch to Falco for this game too. See, so okay, yeah, that makes sense. Don't give Falcon the space. Okay, going back to Battlefield. I guess Warmer's like, I also SD'd, so like, take that into account. That's a, this, it's funny how both games started with the, like a couple wave shines into the down smash and Falcon just jumps back and knees him during the down smash lag. Ooh, that was a nice wait, I like that. Really good tech chase. Fox up tilt though. Such a good move. Yeah, he had a lot of time, but uh, Falcon's heavy and it's a battlefield. It's a but also, getting grabbed at low percent. And they're starting at 4. Oh, it's 3 Okay, I'm good. Yeah, I have my alternate pool. But anyway, back to this game. Apollo looking a lot more comfortable now. I think he just needs to get his footing a little bit. Really nice combo. Uh, stomp me. But the way like he set up for it was nice. That fox get up attack and when it sends you right off stage. Prime for the shine. It's crazy how that situation keeps happening. I'm surprised uh Warmer's not trying like a different option there. Uh, yeah, stop me. Uh yeah, there's no way he's gonna make it back from that far. I just have to grab the ledge.
more than me. That was really nice. Alright, Apollo's in game two. So it's gonna be really interesting. So we we so Falco. Yeah, it looks like Curses. The hand's over. He's about to hit B, then hit, hit A. So this matchup's generally seen as more oppressive for Falcon, cause, just because of lasers, mostly. Falcon's very dash dance and very, like, jump aerial heavy, so, like, not being able to put out his moves as well, just due to how, like, good laser is. And especially going FD. Yo, but Apollo's is like, he doesn't want to give Warmer the chance to laser. Like, if you take the... <laughs> if you're just smacking Falco, he can't shoot you with the gun, right? Ooh, wow, that was a nice edge guard. The dash attack was uh, really good. It just caught him, pushed him off stage. Interesting. Yeah, just got blades. I, I don't really like double jumping versus invincible characters, even though I have a tendency to do it. Uh, especially a character like Falcon, who has really big aerials and can like snipe you really easily. Especially because your down air is like not a threat when he's invincible. Oh, he, he got the weird spot where it like goes over. Ooh. Yeah, okay, yeah, he's just gonna respect him. Ooh, gives him, hits him with back air. Yeah, I would say he respected him and gave him the ledge. And I guess he's just like, Warmer's not, he's been on there for a little bit. He's not gonna have invincibility when he comes up with a move. But yeah, that's what, the one hard thing is you don't have like, a sort of platform mix up to abuse in this matchup. So you either have to like hope that you're able to mix up fading either on stage or to the ledge. And even then, I'm pretty sure Falco can still reactively cover both. So it's like really hard to recover, especially at high percent. Hey, he eats this laser. Yeah, even going high, like Falco, Falco's sing like normal jump is so high that he just can't. Like he can just be there. Ooh, these, ooh, stomp, text chase, stomp, I like it. So, we have more or less an even game. Uh, I mean, Falco being glass cannon. Uh, Falcon can tank quite a bit in this matchup, I think, which is like, what helps him a lot in the modern era is like, in an era where like, people's punish games are really, really good, being able to have the ability to just basically zero death your opponent while not being able to, whoa. Oh, I'm surprised he death smashed, like, not going for, like, some, like, Shine Bear. What? Oh, shield's dead! Alright, this back air is, uh... Oh, okay, yeah, he has still had time. That was a really tight set, though. Good stuff to both players. 